Well, you know, the kids who come here will tell you that all the sacrifice is worth it, and that's usually the case with successful kids and successful businesses. In this week's Homegrown with Melanie Ohms, Mel takes us to Gramercy, Louisiana, to take a look at a potato chip company that got its start in an abandoned car dealership and has been driving the snack market ever since. We're like the kid people. We're the only potato chip plant in the world that give you a lube job while you wait. Ron Zappi is definitely the face and the personality behind Zapp's potato chips, but he's quick to give credit for the idea to someone else. It really came from my wife. Uh, she brought home a bag of potato chips from another company many, many years ago, so almost 25 years ago now and said, these are great, try these, and I did, and she was right. Ron decided to visit that small potato chip producer, hoping to uncover the secret behind these tasty little snacks. I had a lot of small business experience, he had a snack food experience. Zappy established Zapp's Potato Chips in 1985, right here in Gramercy. The business now has a payroll of around $3 million a year, consisting of mainly local residents. But we're proud of being part of St. James Parish. We'll always be part of St. James Parish. And uh, hear that beer? We're here to stay. His gourmet kettle style potato chips were a hit from the very beginning and have been gaining momentum in the Southeast snack food industry ever since. A lot of trial and error went into developing the chips and the flavors that we enjoy today. And that effort has been repaid with customer loyalty. Each of Zapp's packaging machines has the capability of producing 120 bags per minute. And customers regularly clear them from the shelves. People in Louisiana are very locally loyal to products here, but I think it comes with a covenant, and that is that it better be a better product. We think we are that. Zapp's Potato Chips was one of the first companies to market their product as having Cajun flavor, and they set the bar high with their spicy Cajun craw taters. Actually, I went around to everybody who had a Cajun flavored craw, crab boil or crawfish boil or shrimp boil and tried all the different flavors and really didn't particularly care for any of them. I mean, you know, they were good, but it wasn't what I was looking for. I was looking for what it tastes like after the boil. This search for a true Cajun flavor led to the best-selling chip in the Zaps lineup. Their newest creation is called Voodoo Gumbo, and it looks like it may have found a permanent place in the Zaps arsenal of spicy gourmet chips. We're known for, you know, hopefully being creative and coming up with new ideas and new flavors. And we think they're exciting and they're a lot of fun, and we call these limited edition. And of course, uh, we do Mardi Gras chips, we do the LSU Tiger Taters, and we're going to do some other schools out there also. And when we asked him what message he wanted to get out to our viewers... Buy more chips, especially Zapps. As you can tell, Ron Zappi's personality may be just as colorful as his potato chip bags on display. From Gramercy, I'm Melanie Ohms for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Zapps potato chips can be found in stores across the southeast and can be shipped anywhere in the country. If you'd like to find out more about how to order Zaps online, you can click on over to twilatv.org and we'll link you to the Zaps site.